Welcome everyone to my little corner of the internet. I'm Lini, the creative mind behind Upper Rim Prints. The materials you will need are a piece of paper if you want to draw it out on a piece of paper and then scan it in. So you'll need a scanner. Or you can use um, a iPad with something like Procreate in it and that's what I'm using. Um, or you can use uh, a tablet of some sort where you can digitally digitally draw it or you can use um, any kind of graphic program like Affinity Designer or Adobe Illustrator things like that to draw the actual item what like I said what I'm using is procreate on my iPad um, and and this is a tutorial on how to use silhouette or cameo 4 silhouette um, to print out die cut stickers okay i will turn the camera in a moment but i wanted to show you where i got my inspiration for this current uh drawing as you can see right there is neville sleeping in his usual spot that's where he spends most of his days um i thought it would be a cute little picture for that would represent neville so on my screen here you can see that i've begun i've already done a sketch what I'm going to do now is I will just show you the finished product once it's done. Um, you should know how to make a sticker or make a picture at this point. All right, be back in a moment. Okay, so I have finished drawing it and coloring it in. Um, I was going to write the words pause and reflect under here, um, but after trying it over and over I just I'm not liking my handwriting with it so I'm going to show you a teeny weeny tutorial on how to uh, do a font um, that will follow the lines in Affinity Designer okay so this is Affinity Designer I use this exclusively to make um, most of my stickers and stuff like that for layouts if I want to make it a vector then I use Inkscape I believe it's called um, I bought uh, Affinity Designer for $50 um, it's not a subscription it, it's always on it's fine um, and I highly enjoy it by the way so here's my original image I typically will copy um, from the original so that I don't mess up anything. And then what I do is I take this pen tool, create another layer, and just roughly draw the path that I want my words to go. There we go. Then you select artistic text over here right here and you click directly we see how the T turns into a squiggly mark you click there and I want this to say pause and reflect right now it's pretty small <laughs> it's okay um, I'm gonna make this about a hundred oops I'm gonna make this about a hundred that's too big but that is okay as well I just basically want to be able to see it so about 72 and from here you can move it around you can change the font um, it's it's very easy from here um, I am going to do a speed run um, of me messing with the fonts from here So I just realized that I had recorded an entire section, quite a large section, and um, I forgot to unmute myself. <laughs> so I'm going to do a short recap so that this video is not super long. 
So let's go to display. <laughs> Here's the finished image. I go to file and then I export it. I export it as a PNG because with uh, Adobe, it not Adobe, because with uh, Studio, because with Silhouette Studio, you have to have it in PNG. You can have it in SVG, but only if you have the pro version. So I don't need to resave that. Anyway, I then bring it in. I go to merge. You can do open, but it will bring it in, make it an entirely new sheet. And this is Silhouette Studio. I go to merge. I pick the image. It is huge. I take this image and I make it smaller. When you have this icon in the top left hand corner, you want to try to make the image smaller because you're running a chance of the image resolution being pretty crappy. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Does it, and sometimes it doesn't do it. Anyway, I take it down to a size 3 inch and it's 3 by 2.3. And then I take, go to page setup, registration marks on, and I make it as big of a space as possible. And then I will duplicate it across the page, yada yada, right? I'm not redoing that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Well, I'm not going to redo that. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And from here, I go to print. I realized that with this new paper that I'm using, which is this, Let's make this a little bit bigger, which is this HTV front or front or I, I can't remember, but it's matte printable vinyl sticker paper. I might get their glossy because I want to see what the, the difference is. Now the question is what kind of vinyl seal we want to use? Do we want to use a holographic? And if we use holographic, which one? Or do we want to use the clear vinyl? So what I'm going to do, I believe I'm going to just do both of these sheets that I printed out and I can tell which one will look better. I'll do one with the clear vinyl. Um, I've had other videos showing how I put my clear vinyl on, so I'm not going to show that. And then the other one, I'm going to put the holographic on just to see which one I like. And I will be back after that. All right, so I changed my mind and decided to put it all on one sheet so I could just save time. I have the sparkle one or the holographic one on the bottom and the regular laminate on top. What I'm going to do is, since it overlaps in the middle, I'm just not going to cut those. Um, but let me put this on the cutting machine. All right, so it is on the cutting machine and I'm going to show you some settings that I will use for die cut and laminate. It is different for die cut and laminate. Um, no cut on those. There we go. So you see, you just select it and say no cut. And these will all be cut. For the ones that will be cut, I'm going to put it up to nine. I'll cut it twice. And I'm going to put this up to 30. And speed three. Um, I don't generally cut a lot of die cut stickers, so... This is a test, <laughs> pretty much. So let's see how it works. I'm just gonna show you all what happened. It cut really off. So as you can see, it cut really off. Um, I have a feeling it's because of this registration mark down here. Um, I had a little bit of an issue when I was putting it down. So I guess that shows me. I earlier, uh, made a comment to someone another small business about how Cricut I you know has all these uh, cutting issues <laughs> and I've never really had any issues with my silhouette <laughs> I did today so <laughs> I went ahead and I ended up having to print another sheet <laughs> because it was just that bad um, let me show you what I had on the one that was cut off wrong you see once again off cut. So I ended up just printing a sheet that looks like, let's just show you this, like this, where it's just two rows. You see how far away I kept it from here and from here. I think that was the issue. Anyway, um, so they finally cut out and 
Now I just need to figure out which one I would rather use. So the question is, which one? <laughs> we can go with the holographic, which is cute. It is really cute. It's adorable, honestly. Or we can just go with the standard. They both feel the same. They're both, you know, standard feel of stickers. But um, I guess it just depends on what you prefer. Um, I might change it up a little bit and put the pause and reflect in white so it stands out a little bit more. Or I might keep it the way it is. I'm not sure yet. I would, anyway, I would love you all's opinion in the comments below about which one you would prefer. This will be all for this video. Um, fairly short quick to the point, but this tutorial is basically how to cut die cut stickers and how to prepare stickers for print. Anyway, um, so that is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all again next week. Um, I also just want to remind you all that I have shorts that come out nearly every day. I might miss a day here and there. Um, but I usually will have some kind of short and make sure you look at the community tab. I do post on there occasionally. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions, comments, I am an open book. Feel free to post them in the comments below. I answer everything pretty much unless it's disrespectful and then I'll just delete it. But anyway, um, I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you all again next week.